Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm Mr. Teacups and welcome back to Banish. So we're back in my playthrough and I'm not supposed to be saying that because this is in SimCity but I do need a goal for Banished and I think I've actually figured out a goal I want for Banished. So um, I usually like, in games like this, I like to get really high populations and try and maintain the city at that high level. And for Banished, a really high population and probably an unachievable population is around about a thousand. And that may not seem like a lot, but this game, once your population starts creeping up, it gets terribly difficult to maintain them. So far, I think I've only hit around about 200 population in one city, and that just became batshit insane to manage. But I want to try and get a thousand population with Dimsdale. That is going to be my goal. I'll probably do a lot of work off camera. It's going to be terribly difficult. It might take a while. But hopefully someday we'll be able to reach that goal. But let's get back into Banish because we got a lot of work to do right now. Because I've made another noob mistake. Right now, all of my tools are fucked. If you look at all my citizens, I think only like one of them has a working tool at the moment. All of the other ones has a broken tool at the moment. Which is hugely going to decrease their productivity. Because at the end of the last episode uh, yesterday, I went and played another playthrough. I got to run about 200 population. And I just, I just figured out how important new tools are in this game. If you don't have a good supply of new tools for your citizens, uh, your productivity is going to be so low. No, seriously, it will be so low. Um, their yields will, their yields don't really, uh, their yields aren't really that effective. But when it comes to uh, the harvesting season, they will harvest everything slower, and it will come to the point where you're around about a quarter behind on your harvest, and you'll lose that quarter harvest to the winter, and that can hugely affect you if you've got a really big town. No, it can. I got to the point where people started starving because that that quarter across like you know 10 crop fields was a lot of food that had just gone to waste so we got to try and get this blacksmith built we don't have any stone at the moment so we need to go out and harvest some stone uh let's go harvest some stone uh let's go we'll get that harvested for now we'll get that blacksmith built another tip that i'm going to be following with this city is this you can't just survive on say one blacksmith or one log cutter or one um, you know, forester or one everything. You've got to get multiples of everything in this game. My personal advice is once you get around about 50 or 60 new population, you should build yourself another blacksmith you know, to keep up with the demand of the new people. Uh, that's something we'll do later on. Some buildings you don't really need to, like say the church for example, or the hospital, or the school, you don't really need to do that. But buildings like that you should. And other buildings like the quarry and uh, the mine, you don't really need to build straight away. Honestly, honestly, they're a waste of resources straight away. You should try and build them when you hit around about 70 population. And when basically your starting spawn has been mined of all of its natural resources. So yeah, let's get these guys... What? Oh shit, did I say tell them to cut down trees? I told them to mine the stone. Go mine the stone, boys. Get that going because we need this built ASAP. Simple as that. Where's our population right now? Uh, oh, do, 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 do. Has anyone died yet? Some people have come adults. Wait, do we have some? Oh, we do have more people, which is good. But we'll get them working at the blacksmith. We have 19 adults and 8 children. Happiness is looking pretty poor. With 4 stars. The health is pretty poor. We need to get that up. We need to get some coats for everybody. Uh, do we have a herbalist going? I don't think we do. We've got a gatherer's hut. Um, the herbalist can help. It give them basic medicines in terms of herbs and stuff like that. That can help get their health up. The health is quite difficult to maintain in this game. Especially with the cold in the winter. But right now, we should be able to keep it at 2.5 at the moment. We'll try and get that up later on. But do we have enough? No, we need 4 more stones. Great. Did we not harvest enough? No, they're still harvesting them. So we'll get enough stones going. They'll end up building that. I can't believe I made such a noob move with this. I really can't believe that. We're going to have to trade for some livestock later on. Uh, but I'm just thinking, when should we start expanding? We should have enough food for the moment. Uh, probably what I'll do is, once the blacksmith has been built and everyone's got their tools. And look at that. Look, look how much has just been wasted because their productivity is so low. You know, the barn is not too far away from the crop fields. Every, you know, we've got... Oh, actually, we should get another person working there. Someone must have died. I don't, wait, what? We need one more person, okay. But look how much food just went to waste there. A lot of food just went to waste. And, and also as well, though, the journey from the crop field to the barn is hugely important. No, it really is. Like, like these, two, these two crop fields here are going to get their crops to the barn faster than this crop field right here. And you don't have much time, really. Your winter does creep around quite quickly, so you got to monitor that. You do got to monitor that. So probably what I'll do is I'll get maybe two crop fields going over this side, and I'll put a barn over here to speed up things. We actually got a lot of deer around here. Mm, see, the thing is for me, the deer hunter and the fishing hut aren't really that effective. I feel like the crop field just give much huger yields. You get a lot more food out of it and it's more worth it with the people you have to put in. 
and yeah everyone doesn't really know what to do at the moment they're just chilling relaxing or cool we could get some more resources up in this bitch let's just mine everything in our local area we could do with getting all this stone and iron for now we'll collect that collect that uh the blacksmith is still not done yet hopefully it'll be done very soon come on guys we really need this done because the tools are just hugely affecting our productivity what's wrong with you have you hit the fuel limit uh on the materials oh, we don't have any wait what how's my forester doing you got two people working here that's the thing with the forester as well he's so inefficient that they just are oh, the forester for me is so inefficient the quarry and the uh, mine aren't too bad, especially when you've got over 10 people working on them. But the forester, you're only allowed 4 people in each forester, and they're really ineffective for me. And that's finally been built. I'm going to take one guy off of this, and I'm going to put you there. So get working with that boy, Diddy Mal. Actually, we need some wood, because you need wood and iron to create basic stuff. So we'll get this lot all harvested for now. Everyone is working hard, which is geared. Wait, what's the population right now? Uh, probably when oh my god my health has gone down by half a heart which is quite worrying <laughs> we'll sort that out later on but we just gotta focus on getting the food sorted out firstly we do have a huge excess in our storage barn but once we start expanding that's gonna slowly creep down like you always want to have an excess in your barn because um what I noticed is like houses will collect food. Once the harvest has been done, houses will collect to say like 100 potatoes or 100 cabbages and they will store that. They will eat that. But once that's all been eaten, they'll go collect more. And usually by that time, you haven't harvested the next batch. So you need, you know, at least two, you need at least two uh, storage worth of food for each house in your barn, if that makes sense. But basically, people need to eat two times a year and they'll hit that barn up two times a year. So you need a nice amount of storage. And finally, the blacksmith is getting to work. This is going to take a while for him to get uh, tools for everyone, but at least he's getting that done. Uh, hmm, what should we do now? Should we start expanding with a couple more houses? I'm tempted to put one or two more houses down. Um, I'm going to put two more houses down. I think they'll be able to fit here. We'll put you there. You there. That'll be enough for now. We don't want to overly expand yet. I'll get another crop field going soon, but we just need a little bit of an increase in population so we can actually get people to work the crop field. And we actually need, oh, we got, where we got, they're working well. Okay, good. We could probably start maybe investing in one right now. We do need a lot more wood, so let's get some more wood going. Just harvest everything. <laughs> Simple as that. Uh, yeah, we definitely, we so badly need those tools right now. It's really, really bad how low that is the yield is gonna be so low again we're gonna waste so much food and i just don't like doing that uh but i'm i just really can't believe i made that silly mistake on that i'm tempted to delete that actually hmm i think i will i'm actually gonna delete that once i finish all that i'm gonna delete this because it's just taking up valuable space right now and we need that space simple as that so i'll probably put another crop field there and then probably what i'll do is i'll put a barn around about here uh, well, yeah, I put barn around about here, and then I'll put two more crop fields on this side, and I'll get some houses going around here, which will be good. That's the plan for now. Let's see if it actually works. And do they have enough resources for that? You're working, which is good. You're working as well. The firewood is getting to everyone. Well, let's have a look at the statistics right now. The health has gone down again. The health is so hard to maintain. What is wrong? There's no stored medicine. I guess probably what we should do is get a what you might call it we should get a herbalist built to get some herbs up in this biatch so we'll put you around about there once everyone's built those houses and destroyed that they can go and do that oh they've already destroyed that good now, what's wrong with these guys then why haven't they built this yet but they haven't got around to removing everything okay i think they're still just gathering wood at the moment which is uh handy and i think a lot of citizens well there aren't many tools at the moment uh, they're starting to harvest. Let's see how much he's wasted this season. Um, hmm. As you can see, like this field is doing a lot better because, you know, this guy here, he's got a working tool while the other ones have got really broken tools. So they're getting stuff done faster. This guy's going terribly slow because his tools are bad. This guy, they're doing all right, but that crop field is smaller than the others. But I just want to see how much food is going to be wasted this season. I'm guessing around about half of these potatoes won't make it. Yeah, look at that. Wow, we just wasted so much food. Oof, that is bad. We definitely need to get this shit sorted out. That's going to get built soon. They're still harvesting the wood. How much? We got a lot of stone and iron reserves, which is good. 
Uh, we do need a lot more wood at the moment. We've got a nice amount of firewood. We don't really want to waste the wood we have right now, so we'll put down 100. Actually, no, we'll put down 200, because once we start expanding, we're going to need a lot more of that. Oh, we've already got over 200 firewood. We should have. Wait, what? What's wrong with this? The reserve of tools is low. I know that. Logs is low. Tools is low. Okay, he's getting that done. Get these houses built, because we do need a little bit of a population increase. Um, hmm. Actually, if I look at people right now, look, a lot of people have converted to getting a new tool, which is good. Not many people have that symbol above their heads, so we're starting to sort that out. We should get a better yield this season, I'm hoping. Uh, we'll get that house built. Once that's built, we can get that built. The herbalist will hopefully get our health up a little bit. I'm hopefully he'll get him back up to two and a half stars, maybe. Happiness has gone down. We can sort that out with building a tavern and building a church later on. And actually, we can build a cemetery because if you build a cemetery, like when uh, like a family member dies, people get sad in this game. But if you build a cemetery, it counters that effect, which is good. But um, cemeteries can build quite fast if you have a huge epidemic, which can be really bad. <laughs> Last episode, I'm surprised we didn't lose everyone early on because we just got fucked over that disease straight away. But these two houses have been built. People have moved in. Well, he's already 10 working the farm. 20 laborers. These guys are probably going to have kids quite soon. Uh, yeah, which is good. We won't expand yet. What we do is we'll build two more crop fields. I'm, what? I'm getting ahead of myself. We'll build a crop field here. Then we'll probably build two more houses there. Herbalist is going to be built right now. We'll put two geezers work in there. Now let's build ourselves another a crop field. Uh, put you there. There we go. Okay, we'll get that built like so. They just got to remove the trees. And then we can get it working. Come on, if it'll be ready for the season, we'll put potatoes there. And we'll get 16 people working on all of these in total. Oh, that's good. Look, everyone seems to have a new tool right now. Hopefully, the uh, yield will be a lot better this season. We'll put that up. We'll get you... You can have 300 for now. Okay, let's put down some more houses. No, not that. We want to put down some more houses. Uh, where's houses at? We could actually build stone houses. Should we? It's a lot of resources, though, to build a stone house. You know, 40 stone, 10 iron, 24 logs the stone is hugely important so uh we'll build we'll build one we'll build two we'll build two for now the rich can live there then what we'll do is we'll build a storage barn around about hmm we've got to be careful of what space we're going to use um hmm i'm going to build a storage barn here i'm going to build that there i'm going to build a crop field here crop field here another crop field there and another crop field there so yeah we'll have like eight crop fields going freaking mass producing that food up in this biatch but they'll get the houses built first Ooh, we've actually got a lot of stone anyway so we can get that used for now i think we actually just used our whole supply of stone so yeah that's quite bad <laughs> we need to get some more of that going soon what's our population looking like right now 27 people um i think our health has gone up by half a heart our happiness has gone up by half a star which is good um, the herbalist seems to be doing his job right now. He's helping people out. But how, how much stored medicine do we have? Uh, yeah, that's good. Okay, the medicine is helping. People are taking the medicine right now, which is nice. So hopefully people will be a lot more better. I think, you know, the lower their health, the more chances they have of catching, you know, like diseases and stuff like that. So it's good to keep a high health level in this game. Um, what's wrong with you at the moment? What do you need? Oh, you need wood. Shit, we need to harvest some more. A word. We'll harvest the wood. Wait, how much of effect do you have? We can harvest the wood around here, can't we? Because you just replant it. We'll harvest this wood here. Be nice and quick. So we get rid of that. You guys can work on that. How much uh, tools do we have? Okay, we got a nice little excess of tools right now. But I want to get over 100 excess of tools easy, you know, just in case. Because as your population increase, you've got to give everyone a tool. They're all going to be working. The tools are going to constantly break. You need a nice excess to keep up that productivity in your town. Reserve of logs is low, we know that. Um, <laughs> why haven't these guys finished building this yet? Okay, we need logs. Okay, that needs two logs. That needs a couple as well. We should get a nice little excess from logs right now. That house is getting built. That house will be finished soon. Then we get the barn built. That needs 48 logs, which is actually quite a lot. Um, but once that's built, we'll build the, um, what you call it, the crop fields. I want to see how well our yield does this season, how much we do get. They're starting to harvest right now. If they can get, you know, over 9 out of 10%, 9 out of 10%, if they can get 90% of the crops, that'll be nice. That'll be a good yield, and that'll be nice to put in the storage barn because our population is starting to increase, so more people are going to be taking up the food. Yeah. <laughs>
But as I said though, with the distance from the barn to the actual crop field does make a, you know, it does make a huge impact. If we have a look at the two potato farms right now, this field right here is quite far behind this field who's already halfway through and that, make a, that can make a huge difference. We could probably upgrade the road later on which does make them go two times the speed, but I don't think we have the stone to spare. Actually, I'll probably upgrade it now. Is that getting built? We need some more logs, don't we? Shit. <laughs> okay. Um, we'll harvest all these. We'll harvest these trees. Um, we'll harvest these as well, and then we will put down, do we have any stone? We don't have any stone, we need to harvest some stone as well. We're not going to start building, oh uh, crap, that's already at 98, that's already at near enough 100%. People would like put stuff on the outside anyway, so it doesn't really go to waste, but I like to get it all stored, I like to get it all stored in the barn. But we're starting to get some problems with, look, look that didn't even get close to being finished. These did though, which is surprising. But that could have done with being a little bit fast. It shows how much of an impact new tools made though. We basically got three of those fields completely harvested, which was good. But we need to get... Um, we'll put some stone rows down if we can get it. But that's 35 stone. That's a lot of stone. <laughs> we need the trees for now, but we'll harvest some stone. We'll harvest you there. We'll harvest you there. We'll harvest you there. Uh, we'll harvest you there, so we'll get that going. I'll fast forward to that being done, because that's going to take a while. Alrighty then, we got the barn finally built. We got a load of resources back in the town, and I went ahead and built two more crop fields. Kind of got ahead of myself, because we don't really need them right now. So, yeah, because we don't really have the population to field this one, so we're not going to bother this one this season. Uh, I'm trying to get these ones to get as much yield as we can. We need two more people to work on these ones, and we need an extra four people. So we need six more population to go up in this biatch. But we need a road going here, all the way to the barn. Uh, why didn't that go down? Did it error? Let's put that there, like so. Okay, dokily. Alrighty then. Did they get around to building the stone paths? Actually, they did. Their speed has hugely increased, which is nice. We do need more logs, which is getting really frustrating right now. So we'll harvest all this, uh, like so. Get that harvested, and then we got a nice little abundance of tools, and we got a nice little abundance of food going right now. I think everything is looking fine. We just need to get that wood situation sorted out, and uh, we'll start expanding with some new houses soon to increase the population, so we can get some people working that field. But we're going to focus on some normal houses for now because we can't really afford. Uh, oh, we'll put that. Oh, we'll hit the tool limit. Good. We'll put that. Up. We can't really afford the stone houses, they just cost too much in stone, and we don't have that nearby to spare. But I think, you know, this episode has been pretty successful, we counteracted some of our problems, we've helped out of the health a little bit, our population has increased, but we're looking good for the future and hopefully things will go well. Slowly on our way to that thousand population, which is fucking gonna take forever, but we're gonna try and do it. I've been Mr. Teacups, hope you please rate, comment, subscribe, see you next time.